Welcome everybody to my channel. If you are new, I want to welcome you and my name is Teresa. Today's video, I'm going to show y'all some thrifted items that I'm going to upcycle. I'm also going to take some Dollar Tree items and show you how we can take those, recreate them, and make some really cute little Valentine uh, decor pieces for our home. Today's video is also in collaboration with another great YouTube creator. So in the video, I'll give you more information about her channel. I hope y'all enjoy the video today and get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. Okay, y'all, let's get started. The first project I'm going to work on is going to be these um, chicken wire hearts. Now, I picked these up at a local store near me, and one of them is 17 inches wide, and the other one is 9 inches wide. The large one was $5.50, and the small one was $4. I saw these back in the fall, and I had to grab them because I knew I would love doing something with these for Valentine's. So, you just want to cut a piece of fabric to go about halfway up your heart. You want to leave enough overlap on the sides to where you can glue it around, and then you basically would want to make a pocket. Now, if you don't have a chicken wire heart, you can also put this little fabric pocket on a wood heart. Now, I'm just adding a transfer to this, and I'm going to uh, put the transfers that I use in today's video down in my description box and how and uh, a link to some retailers if you want to order them. Now, you can um, overlap your transfers. You can put a transfer over a transfer. So, I that's what I'm showing you here. I added a beautiful flower that went really well with my little red ticking stripe fabric, and then I just put some writing over it. You just go back over it with your little transparent paper just to make it adhere really good. And then I'm just going to tie on a really rustic handle since we're, we've got chicken wire. I want to stick with that rustic theme, and I'm just using some nautical uh, rope that I got at Hobby Lobby for half price. Just tying it in a knot, and I'm going to fray it in the ends. And you've got a cute little hanging decor piece for valentine's now before i style it for you i'm going to show you a really easy way to make some embellishments for it just take some clothes pans you can get them at dollar tree paint them your desired color you can see i did some in white green i stained some i did pink and i did some reds and i just distressed them now just to you know use some of your painted clothes pans and i've got the white ones and i'm going to take some of these rub on transfers you can get at dollar tree and then i just went you know i'm just using what i have on hand so I'm going and cutting out little quotes that pertain to Valentine's and there was a love you and um yeah, in an XOXO. So I'm going to apply those to my little clothes pans, and all you do is get your little transfer tool and just, you know, um, adhere them down and peel off the little clear film, and you've got a great little embellishment for your clothes pans. Now you can use your clothes pans now on your little chicken wire and just stick all kinds of little photos and stuff on them. Now this transfer sheet had numbers on it, so I took a one and a four, and I'm just going to put 14 on this one. But you can get creative with this you know just depending on what kind of transfers that you have I also want to add here that the red ticking stripe fabric that I used for this heart project I got from burlapfabric.com and I'm going to leave a link below if you're interested in this fabric they have this in several different colors so I'll leave a link to their website down below Now I'm going to take the smaller heart and I'm going to measure out some drop cloth. And I'm going to do the same process. You just want to leave enough inseam to where you've got enough you can fold over and wrap it around your heart. And all you do is you just go around the rim of your heart and you use some hot glue and you just, you know, tack it down. And once you get it on there, like I say, you've got a cute little pocket that you can embellish with vintage valentine's photos you know the sky's the limit on what you can put in this it'd be really cute if you put little flowers down in it too now i'm going to add a transfer to this one and i'm putting little things that i have just so i'll have a smooth surface for when i put my transfer on because this chicken wire is you know kind of rough so in the first one i put a cereal box up under it but i'm just going to go over now and put my tran apply my transfer to my drop cloth and um and just you know rub it down with the, the transparent paper and like i say you now you've got a great little embellishment this one i'm going to embellish with a little chopstick bow 
and a ribbon and I'm also going to tie it off some more with the nautical rope from Hobby Lobby. This was $6.99 and I got it on a day when I got it for half off. To me this roll at Hobby Lobby is a better deal than than Dollar Tree because you get a lot more in the pack. So um, I like it better too because it's thicker. So now we've just got another little rustic piece that we can embellish and, and just, you know, I put some little vintage recipes in it just to give you some ideas of different ways that you can embellish this in your home. Today's video is in collaboration with one of my longtime standing friends on YouTube, and that's Sandra over at the Swobin's Nest. If y'all are not familiar with her channel, make sure to check out my description box, and I'm going to leave the link to her channel and also to her video today where she's featuring more thrifted vintage farmhouse decor pieces. Sandra does just a mix of all kinds of styles over on her page. She does tons of DIY projects. She does thrift flips. She does dollar store, you know, projects. And she does so many seasonal themed projects. I know you will love the things that she presents over on her channel. So make sure to tell her I sent you. Go over, send Sandra some love. And I know you will enjoy her channel and all of her videos. Now I'm going to show y'all a piece that I picked up at Goodwill. And I think I paid $2.99 for this. But anyway, it's just a little mason jar. And it's tied onto a piece of wood. And it's got a little piece of wire that holds it on. It's got two little holes drilled in. So it's real easy to disassemble so I can paint the wood. It was tied on with a little bit of twine and some wire. So I just, you know, unhooked the twine. And now I just unhook the wire. And then I just pull it through those little holes. And when I get everything finished, I can easily go back, run my wire back through those little holes and put it back on. Now it's got a nice piece of wood, so I'm just going to go over it with my candle wax, and then I'm going to paint it with Rust-Oleum white chalk paint, put a couple of coats on it, then I'm going to go around, I'm going to distress it with the plastic scraper, and this is just a pampered shelf uh, scraper, and then I'm going to put a transfer on it, and this right here I think is from the traditional pots transfer book, but like I say, I'll leave all the transfer books uh, the ones that I use in today's video in my description box. But I'm just adding a transfer to it just to add a little bit, you know, embellishment to it. And I took a painted mason jar. I took the mason jar that was on it, already had some that was painted. So I just added it back on there with the wire and the twine. I added some lace to it, some cute little flowers, and just embellished it with a key. Now I'm going to show you three really cute and inexpensive little hearts that we can make. These come from the Dollar Tree, so of course we get three on them. You, these little tinsel hearts are so easy to work with because the tinsel comes off of them really easy. I want to throw you, show you three different ways that we can embellish these and just really make these cute for Valentine's. Now, if, you know, depending on what supplies you already have on hand, by the time you, you pay $1.25 for these at Dollar Tree and divide that by three, you've only got 40 cents in these little hearts if you already have your yarn, you know, on hand. So these little prongs, once you get the tinsel off, the little prongs are very easy to remove. A lot of them you can remove with your fingers. They just break off real easy, or you can cut them with your scissors. So remove most of the prongs on the outside edges. And I'm going to show you different yarns that I got to uh, wrap around these little these little hearts and just show you different colors. This is a white chunky yarn and I purchased this at Walmart. And I, you just wanna cut a long strand because it's easier to wrap if you go in, you know, just in longer strands. And you just start off with some hot glue, you ta um, tack it on the back and then you just start wrapping your heart. And that's all you have to do. This is very easy. Of course, once you get to the end of your strand, you wanna glue it off real good on the back and then you just wanna start you another strand and just keep doing the same thing until you get the you know the whole heart wrapped now when you get down to the tip I'll show you in just a minute the tip can get a little bit tricky and also it's got two little um, kind of like little eye hooks at the top and the bottom you can cut those off if you if you want to I wanted to leave mine on there because I wanted to use them you know to add hangers and embellishments too 
So here I am just working around that little point and I added a little bit of hot glue when I went around the point just so I could secure my yarn down and get it, you know, centered around that little loop at the, at the tip. Now when you get to the top, you just want to fill in uh, around that other little loop and then just, you know, dab a little hot glue on it and, you know, trim off your, your yarn and that's all you've got to do. Now to embellish this one, I wanted to leave that little loop, but I didn't, you can paint this beforehand, I just didn't think to do it, but I had a little white paint, now I just got some strips of various kinds of ribbons and lace that I have, and you just want to, you know, tie them together at the top, and then I just tied them on that little loop at the bottom of my heart, and I'm going to attach them with a little bit of hot glue just so they're on there real secure, and I thought this one turned out really cute. Because this just gives you an idea of just some, you know, just some random uh, assorted type of ribbons and lace that you may already have on hand. You know, they may just be, you know, leftovers from another project. Just put them together, tie them on, and you've got a cute little embellishment for your heart. Can't stop thinking about him. I wouldn't understand if I told him how I feel about him. Now the second little heart we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. I've removed the tinsel and I thought some of my heart might show through so I went out and spray painted it but I ended up wrapping the whole heart so spray painting it was not necessary. But just tie your yarn on, don't even need any hot glue on this one and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start wrapping our yarn. No, no rhyme or reason to this just wrap it in all directions until you get your heart covered and like I say I kind of thought at first I might just leave some of my heart exposed and you could see it but the more I got to wrap and I kind of liked it fully covered so that's what I did and then I just to um, you know when I got finished I glued it down on the back really good and then you just you know cut off your excess yarn and you've got a really cute yarn wrapped heart I love this one and so easy to make now I'm just going to take a piece of cardboard I cut from a cereal box and you can see I just held it up to my heart because I'm going to make a little tassel for the end of this one and I'm going to wrap some cotton yarn that I got at Dollar Tree and this cotton yarn makes the best tassels and I'm going to wrap it 40 times around my little cardboard card and then once you get it wrapped as many times you want then you just want to cut it and then you want to get another piece of the yarn and you're going to want to tie it across the top and just tie it really secure in a, in a knot and once you get it tied off then you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to cut across the bottom and cut it off the cardboard now once it comes off it's already you know a little tassel you just put your little tails up and that's what we can use to tie it on the end of our heart now you want to give it a haircut at the end you just want to go around you know and just um you know real blunt cut just cut across the bottom of it and trim it up and like I say, I think the, this yarn makes beautiful tassels. Now, I do not tie mine across the top. I'm just going to leave it like, like that. I'm going to add a couple wood beads using a very large needle. And I just, um, just put those on the yarn with the needle. And then I'm just going to pull it through that little loop. And then I'm just going to tie it on. And I'm going to make a little... Um, I'm going to put a little bow on it just so I'll have something to, because the little loop that you can kind of still see it, um, the little tip. So I'm just going to put that little bow on it and embellish it. And I thought this one turned out really cute too. And like I say, these are so inexpensive and so easy to make. Okay, y'all, let's make the last one. Now, this one I'm going to use kind of a tan oatmeal type yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I get this yarn for $6.99 and they had it on sale for 30% off. So, that's a pretty good deal for this yarn. It's a chunky, really soft, kind of has more of an Angora feel to it. This one you're going to want to 
add a little hot glue to the back and just get it started and again you're just going to want to wrap your heart and just in when you get down to the bottom i'm going to do this one a little bit different i'm going to glue this one off when i get to the bottom and then i'm going to do the other side i'm going to start back at the top so you'll do one side where you start at the top get to the bottom and you finish and you go back to the top and start over and wrap your other side the same way and that way you don't really run into um you know that t up to where you have to you know you have to really work with it to get it to to be to be real consistent on both sides so this is a little bit easier for me and then i just tack it down with hot glue i'm going to cut the excess yarn off and again we've got a, another cute little soft um, little heart now i'm going to do i made another tassel this one i am going to tie off across the top and it's real easy to do you just gotta you know i just got a little piece of yarn and tied it off and i've got it trimmed up and i'm going to add this to the bottom and this one i'm going to glue on i'm just going to glue it to that little loop that i saved on it and then i'm just going to wrap that little tail at the top of my tassel i'm just going to wrap it around uh, the tip of my heart and glue it down and it's that easy and like I say, we've got three little cute little hearts now. And so many things you can do with these little hearts once you get them made. Okay, now I'm going to go back to a thrift store. Well, this is a yard sale find, actually. I got this back in the summertime. Uh, in one of my yard sale hauls and I paid two dollars for this and this is more of like a, a cheese tray close but it's got a really nice thick glass top to it that of course you know you remove it I cleaned it up really well well I'm just going to paint it with some white chalk paint we'll distress it and we'll add a transfer to this and I'm going to show you how cute this turned out so I just go over it I give it a couple of three coats and then I'm going to go over it with a sanding block and I sand it really well and also you know this sanding block kind of smooths out your chalk paint and gives it a smooth finish and then I'm going to use a um Another transfer, because y'all know I love like French wording, and to me, just adding this to a project just bumps it up another level. So I'm going to apply this uh, down on the front of it. You know, and there's so many things you can do with glass cloches, and especially, you know, upcoming, springtime coming, you can put little bird nests in it and flowers, all kinds of greenery. There's just tons of stuff you can do with little cloches. beautiful floral print in the back in the white frame that is from country lane living i'm going to leave a link to their etsy shop down below but these are just downloads that are sent directly to your email and then you just print them out and frame them they have some beautiful selections to choose from and they're very affordable okay now this project is going to be is a dollar tree wreath form you just want to wreath form and then i got this little feather boa at hobby lobby and it was 3.99 it's very nice made it's very fluffy and it's got those little um loops at the end where you could you know hang this from a mantle or you know it's kind of like i guess a boa garland but you basically just want i just attached it no hot glue i just attached it with two straight pins at both ends when i got finished and when i started and you've got a really pretty fluffy little feathery wreath now you could use this for a candle ring you know just wreaths can be used for so many things but just wanted to give you this little cute idea if you're in hobby lobby pick up some of these little boas I also want to add about the feather boa if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you or you don't shop there you can also sometimes find these in Dollar Tree I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone The next project is going to be a thrifted item that I picked up for $2.99. It's this cute little wood curio cabinet. And back in the day, I think somebody just had it styled with a lot of cute little wooden little farmhouse decor pieces. And they are like hot glued on. So I just went and I removed them. 
and most of them removed pretty easy that little flower um, little sack of flour those are real cloth so i am going to hang on to these little miniature items because i think they're super cute but like i say i most of them i just was able to pop them off real easily with my hands when i was removing some of the items some of the glue you know it pulled some of the little wood off but once i painted it i did a couple of layers of rust-oleum white linen chalk paint on it you couldn't even tell so i'm going to show you some different ways i can style it with some little vintage items but before i do that i'm gonna give y'all another tip when you're out thrifting or yard selling always keep your eyes open in the little children's toy section because you can find some really cute little decor pieces there i picked up these little wooden blocks at a yard sale and i paid one dollar i was lucky enough i had the um enough letters that i could spell out love all i did was just took some white chalk paint and i chalk painted them just another cute very inexpensive way that you can embellish your vignettes and just you know add just a little bit more detail to them drive a faster car just another little inexpensive item that i found at the goodwill was this little pink glass heart now of course it's valentine's day so we're out you know searching around for anything heart <laughs> related but i love hearts all year long anyway but it was such a pretty pink um glass so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is i paid less than a dollar for this i think it was I had a little red sticker and i actually got it for like 50 cents but i'm just going to show you a few ways you know how easy it is to style this you can just stick it in some little vintage little coffee cups little teacups you know and just just stick these around and they make such cute little inexpensive decor pieces Before I end the video, I want to um, tell y'all about Rose Forever of New York. If you've been with my channel very long, y'all know that I have worked with them for over, I don't know, a couple, three years now. And their roses are preserved with natural oil, so they last up to one year. Y'all, I got some roses that I'm going to show you styled in just a minute, but they still smell. As soon as I take the lid off, my whole room smells of roses. I've had them since last year of February. So I just want to remind y'all, if you're still looking for that perfect little Valentine's gift for someone, they will ship it directly to your recipient. They come in all different shapes and colors of boxes, and they have such a huge selection of, in colors of roses to choose from. So I just wanted to point this out. If you're looking for that special someone, a really unique Valentine's gift that will last at least up to a year look go check out their website i'm going to leave their information down below and they've been gracious enough to give us a discount code for 25 dollars off your order so make sure to use my discount code and just make and go out and look at all the beautiful roses that they have to choose from okay y'all that is going to wrap up today's video i hope y'all enjoyed seeing all the thrifted pieces i upcycled and all the little valentine's um, pieces that i made i hope you got lots of ideas and inspiration and i hope you'll make some if you were coming over new to my channel from sanders channel i'm so happy you came over i hope you'll you know subscribe to my channel and you'll come back to see more videos as always i appreciate y'all and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all